Hey, it's Chris with the My Electric Family YouTube channel. And recently I was thinking, what car would I buy in 2018 if I was in the market this year for a plug-in hybrid or an EV? And I went on cars.com and Auto Trader and a few other websites and was looking around and kind of pricing them out and seeing what was in my budget, being a budget car owner. Um, and what it came down to uh, was the limitation of our charging infrastructure here in kind of like the central United States is there's no way to really get out of the state or do a trip down I-40 east with the current R charging infrastructure unless you go with a Tesla, um, which again is kind of out of our budget or more than I want to pay necessarily for a car. Um, the whole idea with buying it was, or an, an electric vehicle is a cheaper one, is the fact that you can use electricity, um, and it's just, you know, it's a third to a fourth the cost of a uh, gasoline car. Now, there are other costs involved with that, of course. Um, if you're getting that level two charger installed, there's, you know, an expense. If you want uh, to know more about that, you can check out my level two charging video on that. With that in mind, uh, the 2016 or later, really the 2016 Chevy Volt would be the one I would go with. Now I have the 2014 now certified pre-owned with a little bit of warranty left, so obviously the 2015 could be an option. But the 38 mile range, which is enough for me to get to work and back, maybe go to lunch, um, but I have to kind of watch you know, how I drive, how much air conditioning or heat that I'm using. Um, and I really like that 53 mile range of the 2016 or later Chevy Volt. I think that's like the sweet spot for me. That would allow me to drive to work, go to, to lunch, come back to work, and then drive home, and then be able to use you know, uh, as much air conditioning or heat as I could possibly need. Um, the reason why I wouldn't go with the full EV, like the Chevy Bolt with a B, um, or like a Nissan Leaf, is is that limited charging infrastructure. And right now, just it's just that I-40, either direction, there's just these big gaps of a few hundred miles that you really can't cross. We're, I'm literally living in the EV charging you know, desert here. So I'd have to go with that. Now, as the charging infrastructure develops, then going and getting a full EV, um, then that would kind of be an option. Now, obviously the Teslas is an option. If that's in your budget, then that would obviously be like a Model 3 or a used Model S would be the way to go. The 2016 certified pre-owned Chevy Volt, which you can get, I've looked around on cars.com, Autotrader, and a few other websites, and you can get them in the low 20s. So a little bit more than what I paid for my um, 2014, which the, the pricing is kind of following the 2014 now, the 2015 this year is, is approaching that price of around 15 to 16,000. So if that's more your budget, then I would highly recommend the 2015 Chevy Volt. Um, if you have a, a few thousand more, you will love that extra range that extra, really, um, a little over 10 miles of range, which is a pretty significant increase, um, especially once you start driving it. Um, so that's that's what I would do. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments down below what cars you're looking at, what cars you're considering. If you have an EV and you really love it and you say, Chris, you're completely wrong, uh, please put it down in the comments below. If you like this video, you wanna hear more and see more videos, uh, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Lightning strikes by my